Everything is possible in your life when you believe. Forty-five years old, Joel Romero has credited Cuba for shaping the outlet he is today by talent sporting policies from the 1980s. Age eight, Romero was chosen by coaches to go to a specialist wrestling school based purely on his physical attribute. Romero would go on to prove the coaches right in winning world championship and Olympic medals, but it was the way in which success in the country was rewarded, which is controversial. Top 10 Cuban athletes would benefit from perks such as being given more food and having better living conditions than the less successful ones. Cuba has a history of producing successful Olympians in both wrestling and boxing. In Romero's family alone, his half-brother, Juan Pablo Hernandez, is a former world boxing champion. His cousins are Olympians and his father was in the Cuban national boxing team. Romero puts the country's success in combat sports down to the way in which talent is scouted from a young age. Romero transitioned usually late to mixed martial arts, making his professional debut at the age of 32. Despite this, he's becoming one of the most recognizable names in the sport. Competing in multiple world title fights and earning notable victories over former champions such as Luke Rockhold. He's also surprisingly appeared reluctant in many fights to utilize his wrestling background, instead preferring to stand up and strike. Romero says he prefers to strike because of his love for boxes. When you believe, everything is possible. That's it today on Sport Roundup. Make sure you keep it a date with us tomorrow. We'll be right here. I remain that person you always want to listen to, Timmy K.